I know I made a video like this relatively recently, within the past month or so, talking about the future of my channel after I hit a thousand subscribers and things I wanted to do. And normally I wouldn't do something like this in such a short, like, time frame, but I feel like it's warranted and justified in this situation because after I mentioned here on YouTube about the concussion I sustained and how I wasn't feeling like myself and all the kind of problems that came up with that. A lot of people showed their support for me, you know, and gave me well wishes and told me to, you know, get better and take care of myself and positive, you know, uh, feedback and everything. And I just want to say thank you to everyone out there that sent me, you know, positive thoughts and, you know, left a comment or something about me. Uh, I really do appreciate that. I think it's definitely helped. And I'm finally feeling kind of back to how I was, uh, you know, a week or two ago before all this happened. I am a bigger person, and so I tend to hit my head quite a bit. Head injuries, concussions are no joke. Admittedly, I hit my head probably once or twice every week or so. Most of the time it's nothing serious, but I've had some really bad ones in my life and it's been a number of years since I've had a really bad uh, head injury like I did with this one where I've hit my head really hard. And so they're no joke having concussions. I mean, it definitely messes with your day-to-day -day life. And so like I said, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's kind of showed some support towards me with all that in the last, you know, week, two weeks since this stuff's been going on. I do appreciate it. But that being said, I do feel kind of back to normal or getting back to normal. And so I wanted to let everyone know that I'm gonna be making some more content here soon. Uh, my last kind of like uh, archived video, if you wanna say that, or last video that's kind of been recorded and been kind of just you know in the background is actually going to be coming out uh, relatively soon either later today or tomorrow and then following that i'm going to be getting back to filming new content to put out here on the channel and one positive aspect if if you can consider it a positive aspect of getting a concussion is that i've had to kind of lay low and take it easy and not really do a lot of stuff since it happened and it gave me a lot of time to actually sit and think about content here on the channel and eventually once my eyes and stuff and my head was kind of able to withstand watching stuff on my phone or on my tv i was able to watch some youtube videos of other channels here in the space and other youtubers that i enjoy watching and it gave me some other ideas of stuff i want to do uh, some of it's a little more timely which i'll get to in a second and then some of it is going to be stuffed down the road a little bit but i want to let everyone know i am going to start filming content again and having new content up and out here on my channel relatively shortly. I have one or two video ideas about stuff I want to talk about with the new Alien Romulus movie that's coming out on August 16th. And so since it's timely, uh, I want to get it out before that movie comes out in theaters uh, and hopefully it'll hit the algorithm pretty well and you'll get some good traction out here. It's nothing too spectacular, nothing too crazy, but I do have a video or two in mind with that. I'm also going to be rebooting my Nostalgia Corner series, which is something I talked about in my channel update video after I hit a thousand subs like a month ago. But it gave me time recently to actually think about that. And I came up with a list of topics that are gonna be more like video journals, video editorials, I don't know. Another thing where I'm just kind of talking about nostalgic memories, not so much necessarily about a single item I have here in my home theater per se, but just talking about nostalgic stuff uh, in regards to like home theater and, you know, movie theaters and movies and stuff in general. So just to give a little sneak peek and a little hint to everyone out there, my Nostalgic Corner rebooted, the first video I have in mind for that, has to do with these two items I'm going to hold in my hand here. I'm not going to get into much detail, but this VHS tape and this little Tyco kids camera that I have here, these play a significant role in that Nostalgia Corner video I'm going to shoot here shortly and really have a big influence on my channel that I have here on YouTube. So that's just a little tidbit about what's gonna be coming up soon with that video. But more to the point about actual home theater related stuff and not just me, you know, reminiscing about nostalgia and memories of things. I have some new equipment here in my home theater, a new Blu-ray player, vintage Blu-ray player I'm gonna talk about, 
uh, I'm going to talk about why I have a VCR now here in my home theater and some stuff related to that. Uh, I've got to talk about my front channel speakers that changed actually quite a while ago and was one of the big reasons we went to the record exchange when I filmed that video um, was the fact that I got rid of my DCM speakers for another set of speakers that I found on Shop Goodwill uh, a few months ago that have kind of been in the background and a few people have mentioned about that in my videos. So I have some information in a video and stuff I want to do about that coming up soon. I do also have just some other random equipment stuff that's going to be coming here to the home theater to review and to talk about and just some different things. And I'm also going to definitely have some more projector related content coming up. Uh, I've got a more in-depth review of my Moran's VP11 now that I've had it for like two months or so here in my home theater and it's been over a month since I posted my first video. I'm definitely going to do a bigger a breakdown video of like having that here and some other projector related content that'll be coming up soon with that. So I definitely wanted to lay that out for everyone. But that's only half the reason I'm making this video and I don't want to ramble too long. The other half is talking about one positive thing that did happen coincidentally while I was laid up with this concussion. And that's the fact that I finally have some samples of my merch that is listed in my fourth wall store. I designed some stuff way back a few months ago and I'd been waiting on samples to kind of come in here so I could shamelessly self-promote it here on my channel. So real quick, I want to show you these items just briefly. I'll go into more detail down the road, but first I got in some lovely secondhand home theater coasters. Just their cork back coasters with my lovely secondhand home theater and approved by uh, logo on these coasters. These are really nice. I've been using them here in my home theater. I also have an approved by secondhand home theater can koozie for just a standard uh, beverage can. Uh, just a standard, I think like 16 ounce can or whatever, or even maybe a little bit bigger could fit in here. But these are a standard can, not the slim cans. Uh, but I definitely have these as well, uh, which is actually a pretty nice. I think this one actually came out pretty well. But I also have some actual wearable merch, not just, you know, odds and ends for around your home theater or your house. I also have, as of this moment, a one of a kind approved by Secondhand Home Theater t-shirt. It's one of a kind because I'm the only person who's bought one <laughs> as of right now. So if someone out there buys one, it'll be two of a kind or three of a kind. But it's my approved by home theater t-shirt, which actually came out pretty well. I was a little worried my logo, since I just used Canva, wasn't going to come out too well, but actually it came out, came out pretty well. T-shirts are all right, but I'm a big hoodie guy. I have this, a secondhand home theater approved by hoodie, uh, which honestly, this is probably outside of the coasters, my favorite piece of merch that I bought and got a sample for, uh, which this one's in a nice like charcoal heather gray color with the logo and it's actually a really high quality logo they put on there but i definitely wanted to show that i do have some merch which is actually really crazy to me that i would have my own merchandise with my own logo for my own youtube channel uh, it's just really cool but definitely you could go and buy some of that with my fourth wall store like i said it'll be in the description here of this video it's also on my home page here on youtube and i do get a percentage of that i have it priced almost uh, at cost. It's just slightly higher. So I'm not trying to price gouge anyone. If you do think it's something you would enjoy to support the channel and you buy that, I'm only getting like, I don't know, a 10% or 15% commission off that. I tried to price it very reasonably and uh, not try and price gouge, but I do make a little bit off of that if anyone would be interested in buying any of that merchandise. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. I just want to say thank you again to everyone. All the support, the subscribers, the well wishes. It's humbling. I really do appreciate it. I didn't expect that. So anyways, I don't want to ramble too much more because when I'm filming this, I actually got to get going. Uh, so... I just want to say thanks again. Be on the lookout for more content, some new content in the works, uh, and I will see you in the next video. So thank you.